no recruiting is going to be for Gemini, Gemini November 123. Get Gemini a song. Gemini 2024. November 2020. Now you've got a quote. If you are on a trail of evil, evil you will find. And when you brought it home yourself, in some ways, it's your fault. Be careful who you're exchanging energy with, who you're giving energy to, places you're going, people that you're talking to, people that you're sharing things with. Um, Boredom. Boredom leads to bad choices. Song for Gemini. Well, you've got a mantra. Wolf magic begin now. So if you're focusing on yourself, you're not looking for evil. And the song. Love and War, Tony Braxton. So you may be bored and fighting with your significant other in a toxic relationship, um, feeling a karmic cycle, trying to go back to something that you've already conquered. So more focusing on yourself. Okay, I want to get. It's time to get a bird. I get a bird. Gemini. November 2024. The swan. The tranquil, tranquil spirit comes with accepting inner dichotomy. This is exactly it. You have a choice as a Gemini, being dual, to be the good twin or the bad twin. So if you're bored, you're going to go find something to entertain yourself. You're going to stop fights. You're going to stop trouble. That's where the gossip um, stereotype comes in. Um, but if you're working on yourself, you don't have time for petty games. The swan. If swan's mighty wings have brought her to your cards, it is to reassure you that to be dichotomous is the human condition, as feminine yin must contain with it, within itself masculine yang, so masculine yang must contain within itself feminine yin. She counsels that nothing in life is simply black or simply white. There is no need to resolve dichotomies within your being, and there is no need to fight what is your own essential nature. Accept them and be at peace. So be at peace with the dual natures. Don't overfeed one over the other. And if you're going to do that, make sure it's the good point. Okay, I'm a Gemini, so I know. Let's see. Gemini is the month of November 2024. Ace of Wands, so an opportunity is there, for a, there's a chance there for a new opportunity, a new creative venture, a journey, a passionate endeavor. Let's get one of the books. Let's see what this says about the Ace of Wands. New tasks, motivation, energy. You've got energy, an extra jiggle in your step, and it's got nothing to do with the rapidly decomposing muscles in your leg. The suit of wands overflows with creative energy. Tap into this new cycle by looking for opportunities in financial or creative endeavors. This is your chance to shine. So you're standing at the door of opportunities, but you're also standing at the door of Inviting an evil. Sorry, my cards are a little mess, but not sorry. They are what they are. I could still read them. So, let's see. Tell me about Gemini November 2024. Let's go here. 
the emperor. So maybe it's an opportunity with a business um, partner, business man, opportunity to run somebody's business. And lastly, the Ten of Pentacles, a journey, an opportunity to travel with an Aries or somebody that embodies embodies successful traits. And maybe you're torn because love and war, wolf magic is then now and inviting and evil. You don't know if this person is also dual. Okay, let's get some more cards. Tell me about the Emperor for, I mean, well, I said the Emperor, so I'll go there first. Tell me about the Emperor. Thank you for the card. Thank you for the card. Eight. Eight of Cups? Sorry, I can't see what it is. Yeah, that's definitely Eight of Cups. Maybe walking away from an Emperor. The opportunity to move. Alright, tell me about the Ace of Wands. What is this? Creative opportunity, these swords trigger. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna look at the Ten of Pentacles before I say anything. What's the Ten of Pentacles about? What's the Ten of Pentacles about? Two of Swords, a choice. The first to go on a trip, the first to go on a journey, the first to um, accompany somebody on a trip or a journey. A choice to go to the family, a choice to walk away from somebody. Alright, let's see, come on. Wands, Ace of Swords, Gemini, November 2023. Let's see Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Tripper of that. It says Cats of the Same Element. Cats of the Element. Air Cat, Fire Cat, Water Cat, Earth Cat. All cats are gray in the dark. Dealing with the devil you know. What's the emperor and the eight of cups about? What's the emperor with the eight of cups about? So walking away, driving away, somebody driving to the past, maybe in a olive green car. The military, somebody's going on a duty, a tour. They could be buying you a car. Somebody could be tied to somebody else because of the car. One more for the emperor with the eight of cups. The roof. Somebody could be going to do an ayahuasca retreat. Um, I could want you to join them. Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. What is this about for Gemini from November 2023? Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. Yeah, an adventure with the soulmate. Sun, the moon, the mountain, the 
Beetle, VW Bug. Somebody wants to go on a journey, maybe a road trip? Okay, let's see. Can I tree? Yeah, I have a tree. Let's end it with the tree for Gemini. November 2024. Montezuma, Cyprus. There's Montezuma, Mexico, right? Mexico, Peru. Maybe somebody wants to take you to South America? Or join them in South America? Solidity. Um, I grow at the meeting point between the land and the water. And I teach you that you need a balance between the material and spiritual worlds to survive. I am solid and strong, and I can give you the same sense of solidity. Mexico. Are you feeling bogged down by worries and difficulties? Learn to focus your attention on whatever is most important to you or to the situation. And don't dilute your power by concentrating on trivial matters. So, I feel like it's saying, honor both sides of your Gemini twins, and use the side that's relevant according to the situation. Alright, good luck Gemini, have fun!